What is going on guys, John the Shane here, the Keto Road Metabolic and Women's Health Specialist, Functional Nutritional Therapy Practitioner. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how long does it actually take to heal from metabolic issues and disease? And I, this conversation, you may feel like it's not re re relevant, right? You may feel like, oh, like, okay, I know it takes a while, but I think with working, I've been working with clients for over half a decade, been working in women's health, specifically focused for about three years now, worked with over 200 people. And something that I've realized is people, their idea of a long time or time is not a long time. Let me give you an example. When I have a, um, a client come on board and they have, uh, you know, physiological insulin resistance, or maybe they're having early onset uh, perimenopausal symptoms, or they're going through perimenopause, or they're going through menopause, or they're postmenopausal, wh whichever the situation is. Um, I tell them straight up that this is going to take at least 90 days to see if what we're doing has a positive impact to see if what we're doing is going to have a positive impact. That's not even the result. That's just to see if it's doing something. It can take up to 90 days from a hormonal perspective. Um, weight loss, we could see go up and down, but that could even take longer, right? And so people have this idea of like, nine, like okay, if I don't see change in 90 days from something, then it's obviously not the thing for me. That's not necessarily true. Um, it can take up to 90 days just to see the change is starting, right? And then another 90 to 180 to really get to where you're going. You know, I, I never forget, I had one client. I worked with her when she came to me. She was going, she was having early onset perimenopausal symptoms due to physiological insulin resistance. We cycled cars back in. We regulated her stress. We got her workout routine proper. And we got it to where she was having regular cycles again. She was no longer having irregular cycles. Basically, we, we, we reversed those early onset symptoms and got her to a more insular state. We took her insulin from a 15 to a 5. Like, we were really able to, like, really metabolically heal her. That took over a year, okay? It took over a year to do that. Um, it took time, and she was patient, and she trusted the process. So, I want to encourage you. I'm not saying I have all your answers. I'm not even saying you need to work with me, obviously, if you're working with a specialist, and I'm not, and obviously I understand you have to navigate like finances and like somebody may be trying to price gouge you and they're not really involved. So I would say, and I can make an, if you all want to make a video about things to look for in a health practitioner as a coach or as your coach, let me know. I will be completely unbiased. I'll even put myself on blast for some things if, I, if it comes up um, completely unbiased. I would love to share that y'all because I understand that. So you want to make sure, right, that, that those things are, are, worth it financially time investment etc but understand that if the health practitioner truly cares and you truly are having some like deep rooted metabolic issues you cannot expect for those issues to be solved in 30 days and if someone promises you that they're lying they're lying or they're going to crash diet you and put you in a worse spot so still they're lying they're lying okay understand that so that's really the answer. I don't really have an answer, like a set time, but I know it takes longer than you think it does. And I think it's really important to look at yourself objectively. And I always tell people, you know, that, you know, they've been fighting or, or struggling with weight loss and dieting for years and years now. So they feel like they've been on this journey for years, but understand that when you get with the right practitioner you get with the right health coach, you get on the right program, that's a new leg of the journey. And you haven't been on that journey very long. You haven't been on in the actual healing process for very long. And so it's important to separate when you're really finally there versus all the yo-yoing and struggling that you were doing for the years prior. It's hard to figure out when that line is unless you like, you know, start working with somebody you can like, okay, October 1st, right? So that's, that's when this journey really got going. But I understand your frustration. I understand that it feels like it's taking forever and you can't find any answers. Um, I really do. Uh, I empathize deeply with people on that, uh, clients and just people in alike. So I just want to make this video because I've, I've had a couple conversations over the past week or so that have really, you know, resonated with me. And I've seen comments on YouTube about just, just like feeling like they're never going to heal and that, you know, they've been doing this for, you know, six months and da da da. And obviously there's some nuance there because maybe they're not on the right program for them. Maybe they're not working with the right person. Maybe they had a bad experience with someone that price gouged them and gave them a crappy program. Um, or maybe they just 
haven't been given enough time. So there, there's, there's nuance there, but it's important to make sure that you have a program that allows you to feel good, that um, shows progress in your markers, um, and that you have a practitioner that is clear with expectations, observations, and overall communication. So hope that helps. I hope that gives you a peace of mind or at least gives you a better understanding of what getting healthy looks like. See you in the next one.